Okay, so in a subsequent video, um, I'm editing the bench pads. These are coming off. I'm building other ones. I haven't installed them yet. I'm making these two videos side by side. What this video is about is the base. I might have already made a video, I think, starting it off. But essentially, this is just lame support. It's just a thin piece of metal. Then you got thick metal in the back. Uh, the other problem is this area right here where my weight equipment is gets rained on. I really want one of those weight racks that you can um, maybe lock. I want to lock this in so that it uh, stays out the way and just uh, roll it up to my weight assembly for storage, vertical storage. So I'm going to build a base for that, put some wheels on the back. And the idea is I'll be able to roll it in there, assuming I move that big old barbell out the way and store it vertically, maybe put a cover over it so my new nice bench pads don't get rained on. First step is identifying where you're going to have your structural structural support. I was struggling with words, but uh, I think I'm going to use this big, th big thick piece of metal, oh my god I can't speak, uh, to start off. So I'm going to have a board running across this big thick T-ish and then this board's going to go down, it's going to slide under this plate and then it's going to come out about like right here considering I don't want this to hit the ground when I go to lift this up vertically uh, I'm going to also have a stand right here so that this also isn't supporting the whole weight of the bench so it's going to have a roll wheel area whatever you want to call it the wheel and then it's going to have a base just going to show you how far this comes out you know I said I was going to run off the tee well, this is where the board would meet the T. And if you travel all the way down, it's going to hook into that. I got a pretty good amount of room. This is where the board's going to be cut, and then there's going to be a... Uh, going to have a board sitting like that all the way across. So about where my foot is is where the base is going to be. That's pretty good uh, bench clearance. The only thing i got to look at is this is a decline bench, so got to make sure that the base won't interfere with my head when I go down but other than that that's going to be my first cut. Another important step is a wholesome doggo. Doggo will help you have good feels while you are creating anything and he'll be happy. He'll also be interested in whatever you're carrying and will want to help. So all I've done so far is the front two plates were 20 inches apart I measured my two runners, took 20 inches, subtracted the width of these two boards, made this board, did pocket hole screws, and attached. The other side, all I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this big board. This big board is going to have the two casters on it, and then I'm probably going to put a support. So once you roll the, roll the bench on the casters, you'll then be able to fully stand it up on this board. So just to show you, all I've done is I took this board and screwed it into the base. I put three screws. I took these casters and I made them even with the bottom or as flush as I can make it. And I put two of them. They're about three and a half inches over. So they meet just about on the inside of the board. Uh, that's just where they fit. So now the next step is installing that onto there. Although it's really hot, so I may do it under this shape. So yeah, I got my casters, long board, or wide board I should say, my long boards. I put two screws uh, under each side, so that's pretty sturdy. Then I put two long screws on uh, each of these sides. The handle isn't covered, so now I have something to grip it by. I'd say it works pretty good. I also added these onto it, but they don't really help that much. The most important is the base. When you flip this thing up, it actually becomes so top heavy that it wants to flip. I'm just going to flip it into that uh, my little weight assembly in the back, a little black bar, and that'll hold it up. And this is just a demonstration of how the product works. All you need to do is roll it to where you need it to go. In my case, I have to stand it up against the wall so it doesn't flip over, but it's out the way and it stays still.
So I did three videos at the same time on stuff I was working on. This is my chest fly machine. This is the base to the bench. And then I put in new bench pads. Eventually I'm going to put in new uh, leg pads, but right now it's not completely necessary. However, if you're curious about another vid, uh, this is now my setup. Like I said, I got chest flies and the new bench. So, And I painted everything yellow so it matches. Maybe I need to update the faded color, but this is an outside gem. It's not really that important. As always, thanks for watching. Leave any questions or comments you have down below. Oh yeah.